Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today I'm going to explain the movie called Moon 44. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. All of the Earth's natural resources will be gone by 2038. Rival enterprises battle for access to mining planets as multinational corporations grab control of the cosmos. Moon 44, a fuel extraction plant in the outer zone, is the site of a significant conflict. The Galactic Mining Corporation still has ownership of this station. Battle robots from the Pyrite Defense Company recently overtook Moons 46, 47, and 51. Galactic Mining had its own defense system, which included helicopters capable of functioning in the Moon's volatile atmospheres, but it was scrapped when too many pilots died in training. To aid the pilots, the firm sends new navigators to Moon 44. However, there is still a shortage of pilots, so the company is forced to use prisoners. Galactic Mining regards its fleet of mining shuttles as even more important, so if the base is attacked, the shuttles are ordered to leave the crews behind. Felix Stone, an undercover investigator hired by Galactic Mining, is tasked with investigating the inexplicable disappearance of two shuttles. Stone visits Moon 44 and meets Chief Navigator Tyler, who believes the shuttles were taken after the flight computers were manipulated. The main suspects are Major Lee, the mining operations defense director, and his subordinate, Master Sergeant Sykes. Later, Stone observes Sykes reconfiguring a mining shuttle just before it departs. Lee then refuses to hand over the modified computer to Stone, citing company orders. Sykes assaults Stone with an axe, but is immediately gunned down by Lee. Stone is about to leave after finishing his inquiry, but the mining facility is assaulted by a Pyrite Medusa-class battlecruiser. Major Lee deactivates the alert systems before ordering all of the mining shuttles back to Earth. As Lee's actions inside the base are uncovered, Stone manages to shoot down the entire first wave of enemy assault drones by himself, while prisoner O'Neill stays behind to destroy the remaining drones. Lee tries to damage the only surviving mining shuttle, but Stone traps him in an elevator and blows himself up. Stone notifies the Galactic Mining Chairman that Lee was persuaded by Pyrite to redirect the mining shuttles to a planet in the Outer Zone, and the others return safely to Earth. 